All right, so we've added uh, another list. We've got this function that's going to run. Function run that's going to run when we load the page. Right, so it's just a wee quick check. Um, What's happening here? Yeah. I'm not sure I saved that. Oh well. There you go. Testing. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what we want to do is we want to have a shopping cart. So realistically, if we were doing this properly, properly, we would be using a database and a database would have a list of items and then we'd push those list of items into our one hundred list. So we'll make a var called items. And this is where we're going to have our array. So the first array is obviously we're going to have everything to do with that one item. Like this. So we're going to have an array of arrays. So in here we're going to have obviously images slash. I just have a look. The video. There we are. Image one dot jpeg. Then we can say ah. Uh, it is twenty nine ninety nine, and we might say it's called product one. Um, okay, you get the idea. You can add a description. Blah 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 blah. Um, so we want a couple of these. At the end, obviously, this is going to be two, three, four, and we'll make these one, one. All right, this is product two, three, four, five. Right, okay, so let's stage one. We've got the items. Stage two is we need to push things into this unordered list. We've done this before, so how we do that is. We need to grab this by the ID. So I'll call this var main, I guess, equals document dot get element by ID. The ID is products right. Then we're going to have the variables for all the stuff that goes in it. So var element equals document dot create element and then we say it's a list item. So we can say create it's an image. Uh, we can have a p tag and so we've got image price I'll make that h1 okay and we don't need that p tag there ah oh, tell you what we do need a button uh, and what I just try not to have the same element names cross over, so I've got to kind of call them strange things. Tell you what, rather than call this button, we'll call this add because that's what it's doing, because it's going to be like add to cart. 
Right. So this is all okay to be added. Then we're basically going to then actually do the adding. So main dot uh what is it? Append child. And we're going to append it with a list item. Then we're going to take the list item dot append child. And we're going to append that with uh, the pick. And we're going to take that list item and we're going to append the child again with um, the price. I'll call this price. I think it makes me nice if I call it what it is. Just makes things a little bit more straightforward. Le.append child. And that is going to be the add. And then we're going to go element.append child. And we're going to add the, the type, the input box. Which is basically calling the amount. Now this is great. So this is all the push elements to HTML. But we need to then say edit edit um, pushed elements. Edit uh, pushed elements info from array. Okay, because we need to grab the information from the array, and then to say attach it to these, so that way we can have the image that is stated there. Right, and so in order to do that, let's have a wee look. So we go pick dot inner HTML equals and then we grab the array which is items square bracket square bracket because there's two and we're going to say the zero thing it's the first one and then we're going to grab the zero thing which is the first one there so it'll be basically zero 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 right so now we're going to take obviously not pick we're going to take price price HTML equals Zero zero one equals price tag plus that there. So it should put an actual dollar sign in front of this. Then we can take the ah. Oh. I not put the heading in there. I've not put the heading in there. Right. Um, let's just call this script. Make it an H2. Nice there. Script. Right. The script equals that two. Whoops. Right. So those should be updated. Now we need to do the the add box. So uh, we've got add dot in our HTML equals add the text. That's what we're going to have in there. And then we're going to have obviously the type box doesn't the type box probably actually be empty. We could probably set a default value. Um,
equals num rosh. See if that works. Um, okay. So we want to do this just the once, and then we'll adjust it so that way it loops through and does it all. So let's go run this and see if I was successful. Right, okay. Right here. So we've got this here. For some reason, the product hasn't worked. Um, no, I think product there. You picked up source. Ah, righto. So it's worked. Obviously, the item's massive, and we need to change some stuff in the style sheet. Um, is there a style sheet attached? Sure, and a video images. Let's give it this. There is no style sheet attached. Right, I'll just quickly look, make a little internal style sheet. Um, list item is width percent, and then I'm going to say list item image width. Hundred percent. That's enough to fix it. That style sheet run like that. That's strange. The style. Yeah, it's style. That's why. It's because I don't use internal style sheets. Right. There we go. Okay. So that's enough to tidy it up. We've got this here. We've got add, and I can then say to this. Um, righto, well we want this to run multiple times, so it's just that same for loop as last time. So for var i equals zero, if i is less than items dot length. Thank you for the update Microsoft. Okay. Um, plus plus. Right, and we basically just say, I want you to do all of this here. So all of this stuff here is inside that loop. Problem is now we don't want zero. I want to go I. I, as it loops through. I. What did I do there? I. Right, so if I save and run that now. Here we go. We've got our uh, four products, and we've got everything we want. There is a problem though. This add function doesn't work. And the other question is, how do I get an add function to add specifically this hat, this default value one I want to put in? So there's a few a few more details we need to add to it to have it structured. And then obviously we want to cart. But at this stage we've managed to grab a whole bunch of elements here so if i look at our elements there's our unordered list look it's our list item look it has all our stuff in there so we have managed to there that type number is on there which is good so obviously you know we wanted to put the value in there as well which is okay i want the value to start at one i also want to put a rule that i can't then say oh, i want to get negative products so there's a few things we need to sort but that's a really good stage to kind of park that and then we'll start up doing more of the details with the next video